So I have plenty of pieces here since uh, almost uh, 15 years and uh, also my latest pieces uh, which are project projection. Um, it's, uh, so they are mostly uh, talking about slowness, not really in terms of because uh, not really because they are all slow, but because they are also uh, trying to make some development of uh, medium who are slow, who are going backwards. I try to re to to to, uh, um, to reinvent, to rethink some some kind of uh, medium like movie or uh, projection, uh, but without uh, using the speed uh, mainly. Um, uh, uh, moving images are produced by using speed, by using a lot of frame one after the other. And I just try to develop uh, a system who are able to produce movement inside of the still images, uh, but without using a lot of images and without using the speed. So I try to, to um, uh, uh, rethink the photography process or uh, the cinematic process and uh, maybe uh, the drawing while behind me are a good uh, example of this. They are, they are all drawings, there are more than 100 but there are in, uh, in fact uh, plenty more. Uh, it's uh, just a draw preparatory, preparatory drawing for slow motion performances where I have tried to uh, put slow motion into reality. So I have produced uh, uh, two or three slow motion performance and when you, um, um, when you make a film it's easy to slow down the image but in reality you have to fight against the gravity, you have to fight against time and actually time and gravity that's uh, two uh, uh, properties that you cannot change, eh? that you, have, you, you can make all your effort, you cannot change time and gravity. There is no, no, uh, no system for that. And uh, so I have developed machines who are able to produce, uh, to replay this effect of slow motion. And um, uh, mainly the drawings are really like, uh, you know, it's also the way how I think. When I think, I just make a lot of small drawing, a little bit like when you are uh, at the phone and you just uh, keep uh, uh, drawing, you keep continue to, to draw. And um, um, so all the pieces who are exhibited here, they have a slow process of development. They, have a, they also try to go backwards. You can see inside of the exhibition that the, uh, a lot of them look like that they are uh, coming from the last century, um, but the 19th century. <laughs> and, uh, um, I think it's also because uh, it's always, I try to, to find, uh, I'm very interested in archaeology of the media uh, and uh, I try to uh, reinvent and rethink them. So it takes time. It's, it's really like not to go to the straight way to, to produce an image, but to rethink all the machinery which is producing the image. Uh, the photography that I present, for example, the high voltage photography, they are basically construct like a, a synthetic image on a computer, but they are made totally manually in front of a camera, which stay open for uh, more than eight hours. And I built in front of the camera an object in 3D by using electric sparks. Uh, so this is really like uh, shifting the, the the problem of the, of the image into a, a manual concept that takes time and that make you uh, that gives you time enough to think about uh, uh, the process of the construction of uh, one image, really to 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 uh, to try to to uh, yeah to to be inside of the the photographic space and to take time to construct this space with uh, the object with lights. In your slow motion, do you use more and more frames or do you do slow motion using very few images? Yeah, for example, for the, for the, for the performances, I don't use the camera at all. I, I just play it live. So this is machines that are controlling objects in slow motion. 
or uh, it's always a shift from this uh, this concept of uh, slowness inside of the image. Uh, slowness is a really a property of the moving image. Huh? You are not able to produce slowness in reality. But uh, two pieces are three pieces here are presented. Uh, for example, a model for the apocalypse, which is uh, made with a, uh, a material that I have developed, which is called a uh, slow motion material, and it's a material that is always uh, falling down in slow motion. So I have tried to make some research to shift uh, a slow, uh, slow, slowness in, in, into reality. When you talk about slowness, is that in the context of the time that we experience as human beings, as opposed to, say, for example, geological time, which is millions of years? Yeah, I don't think uh, so far, actually. I, I really think uh, slowness into a very, uh, a very short moment. Huh? Uh, uh, and I try to... Um, I don't think so far in terms of slowness. Uh, uh, mainly for me, um, it's uh, this idea of not going straight to, to, to one point, to find my own way to develop a system. But because you are not going straight, you make a lot of experience in between, uh, uh, in between your, 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 your project and, and, and the result. And this way of working uh, gives you uh, much more, much more experiences, much more uh, time to to to, uh, to to think about the process. Could you could you talk a bit about the technology that you use? Uh, so, for example, the, the, there are three pieces uh, which are presented at the, at the end of the gallery. They are all uh, that three system to that are able to reread uh, slides, uh, means analogic images, uh, with a kind of digital system. But I, I have tried to, uh, to, to, uh, to adapt uh, the way uh, our, our brain is actually trying to remind an image. Our brain is not... Uh, it's not like a scanner. You don't scan an image and you have the full image in your mind. You just have part of the image and some of them are blurred and you try to reconstruct with your memory uh, the whole image, which means also the whole story of, the, of, the, of this image. And uh, I've uh, developed a different system, which I call memory station, who are actually able to reread just portion of an image, one after the other, and uh, by shifting, uh, for example, mirror inside of the, the focus space of the camera, or by uh, uh, flipping mirrors, or also by using uh, some kind of very strange way of uh, uh, reprojecting uh, digitally uh, some, some um, um, some slide image, but it's always like uh, very. Uh, all of these systems are developed also in. The, um, uh, all these systems are developed to, to uh, read an image slowly and to, to copy in one way our our feeling about uh, uh, our uh, our memory, our brain. Do you prefer to use existing things like? the technology that a camera uses or the technology that a slide projector uses rather than inventing new technology? Is that part of the archaeology, would you say? Uh, yeah, I try to rethink, uh, to, 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 to rethink also the shift in between uh, old technology and new technology. Actually, we, uh, we try to develop, uh, everybody is trying to develop the most uh, high resolution projector or the most faster because now when you are projecting 3D, you use uh, twice the speed. It's, it's 60 image uh, for, you know, you have one image for, uh, for each eye. So the speed has to, be it has to be faster and faster to be able to produce an image in 3D or to, to, to produce a, 
a high resolution picture. And uh, in fact, I also fight against this, this progress because I'm not interested in it's like uh, it's very figurative to, to, to uh, uh, this way of producing very nice picture. I try to more to de develop much more uh, consistent system, much more physical system to produce a ima moving image and mostly they are in very low resolution because um, I try to to find a way to uh, uh, to make a focus uh, uh, into the digital process. So I, f I, I usually use a very low resolution matrix or uh, to really to, to, to make uh, a big difference in between analog and digital image. And um, uh, I think in interested in low resolution because uh, this is uh, the effort to go backwards to add a low resolution is uh, it's a huge work in fact because uh, if you want to build a black and white projector today it's not that easy and uh, or if you want to to build a, a low resolution image uh, nobody proposed that to you and that's uh, but uh, in fact, if you want to do a same, uh, if you want to, to same, make the same development as a painter and trying to display a geometrical uh, uh, projection, uh, I would like to have a projector which is able to project in this low resolution. So I have built my own system to be able to also to draw and to display what I want. And that's a slow process in a, in a way, and a backwards process. Um, and, uh, and it's strange that if you want to go backwards uh, uh, against the technology, you, you spend much more time than, than, than just by using the, the newest one. Uh, but for me it's important because all the system uh, that I've developed uh, also um, uh, they, they also produce an ID. The system have to be have to fit with the image. That's that's my my main main idea actually. When you try to invent a new way of doing a cinema or a moving image, you need a, a reference. So I use already existing uh, objects that everybody know to uh, also to. Uh, and mostly figurative because they, they, they are for me uh, uh, like a base of work and uh, also uh, I have to, to, to test my, my, my technology which is uh, totally uh, a nonsense but uh, which is actually really fitting with my ideas you know, that I have to, uh, to uh, you have always to, to try to, to, to redraw some things that everybody knows to, to be able to, to to know if your system is really is really uh, convenient or uh, really real actually. Mm -hmm.